Hello, my writers. Today I'm going to model another how-to. So I showed you how to make peanut butter and jelly um, with our how-to. Today I'm going to do another how-to, how to fly a kite. So when we're talking about our how-to, remember, we need to give steps and we need to put them in order. So I'm going to think through how would I fly a kite? What directions do I need to give someone to be able to fly a kite? I want to put them in, on my fingers because I remember I want to talk about first, next, then, last. I'm using those temporal words or those order words to tell someone how to fly a kite. So, so, yeah. so let me think through. Hmm. So first, hmm, what do I want to do first? First, I tie a long string to a kite. Next, what do I do next? Next, I let a little string out and I put the kite behind me. Okay, so first I tie a string to a kite, a long string to a kite. Next, I gotta remember, I, tie, I let a little string out, right? And the kite's gotta go behind me. Then, what do I do then? Then I start running. Hmm. I start running. Last, I let more string out and I watch my kite. All right, so let me think that through again. First, maybe I have to say I get a kite. First, I get a kite and tie a string, long string to it. Then I let some string out and put the kite behind me. Then I start running fast. Last, I let more string out because I want the kite to go up. And I watch my kite. All right, that's how I fly a kite. So now I'm going to write my steps down on paper. Okay, so remember, you want to keep going back to those steps. Sometimes you might want to close your eyes, picture what you're doing thinking about you doing the activity, okay? Just like I did for flying a kite. It's important to picture it so you know what you're going to write about and you can see yourself doing those steps in order so that you're sure you didn't forget anything, okay? So you wanna keep picturing yourself doing the activity. So I'm gonna start with my first because that's my first step. First gets a capital letter because it's starting my writing. First. Comma. All right, so I'm thinking through what was my first step. First, I get a kite and tie a long string. it. All right. First, I get a kite and tie a long string to it. All right. I'm trying to be a little bit more detailed as I'm doing my writing. That way, if somebody's going to do this, they can follow my directions more easily the more, the more um, detailed I give. All right. I put my period in because that was the end of my first step. Now I'm going to think, what do I do next? Well, I don't have room here, so it's going to go down here. Next, comma. All right, what do I do next? Next, next, let a little string out. and put the kite behind, where can I put it? Behind me, right there, period. Next, let a little string out and put the kite behind me. 
period. That's the end of my next step. So then what do I do? Then, comma, hmm, okay, I got the kite behind me. Then I start running fast. Then, so I can say then I start running fast, or then I can just say then start running fast because I'm giving directions. So it's almost like I'm giving commands to people. So I don't always have to say I. So then I could say then start running fast. Can't run slow when you're doing a kite. Put a period in. Then I then start running fast. Period. All right, my last step. Last comma. All right, I'm running fast. Last, I let more string out so my kite can go higher. Last, I let more string out and Watch my kite, period. All right, last, I let more string out and watch my kite, period. Don't forget your last period. Okay, so that was how to fly a kite. First, I get a kite and tie a long string to it, period. Next, let a little string out and put the kite behind me, period. Probably should say next, I let a little string out, especially because I'm talking about myself. Then start running fast, period. Last, I let more string out and watch my kite, period. Okay, so and notice how I know I realize I should say next I. When you go back and reread your sentence, right? Point sentences point to the words as you read, you might find you made a mistake here and there, just like I did, and realize I need the word I to make it sound right. All right, boys and girls. So remember, when you're doing a how-to, you're thinking about what is something you can do and you want to be able to put the steps in order so that somebody can follow. If you want to fly a kite, maybe you would try my steps and see if it works for you. All right, boys and girls, keep thinking about those how-tos.